I've just installed my Biorhythm Calculator 2010 Premium Edition software. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up because I'd like to make some changes in the configuration. It's important to make the Biorhythms as software as simple as possible until you really learn what's going on. And as you notice, down here at the bottom it has Captain Biorhythm status as far as what my physical, emotional, intellectual, intuitive biorhythm cycles are at this moment in time and when I look on the screen I can see that it shows me the physical and it shows me basically the emotional and it shows me the intellectual and it also shows me the intuitive it shows me how many days I've been born and so this is good information but actually it's good to see it occasionally but I'd rather just go directly into the program so I can work with the compatibilities of other individuals that are involved in my life. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do the configuration of this program. Now the configuration window opens up and so I'm fine with the main profile being Captain Biorhythm. That's the one that shows up in the start window in the welcome window but I'm not going to have that happen uh, just I'd rather go directly into the software but I do want to have updates and what's going on with my biorhythms every 120 minutes so I leave this enabled enable system tray icon required for following option to work that's enable biorhythm notifications in the system tray and if you go down and you'll actually see here is my little biorhythm guy and so if I click on that it's going to show me what my status is and so I have the opportunity to go and check that out at any moment in time and it's a good thing to know so I like that especially when I'm working throughout today and so I think that's pretty cool and so that's why I leave that enabled now astrology has many benefits and a lot of people follow it but for the time being we're just going to do the historical biorhythms which is the physical cycle the emotional cycle and the intellectual cycle we're going to turn the astrology parts of the program off by clicking there and removing the check mark from the box. We're going to go and unenable the uh, numerology. It's a uh, type of philosophy that some people follow that has benefits and just seeing if it fits for you. But I'm going to turn that one off too. And at this point in time, we're not really doing any celebrity type profiles even though I have the celebrity database that I purchased as a part of this program so I'm going to turn that off too I'd rather just be more interested in my family my friends my business associates and the sports teams that I'm going to be working with and so when I go up to the startup I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this because I don't want the welcome screen to show up anymore. I'd rather just go directly in to the biorhythms because I have Captain Biorhythm as the primary person that shows up every time I go into the program and I like that. But I will keep the start date, I'll keep the time interval, I'll keep the duration, I'll keep the view, the cycles, the profiles, the image set, the view customizations, and the user, user interface elements. I think those are good. And then for the user interface, I'll keep the switch to view tools toolbar after changing document view. I'll keep enable live previews to documents and dialogues. I'll keep show confirmations and I'll keep simplified UI. Um, that shows me initially fewer interface elements which is what you can see because I already have that set. It just shows you the graph. It shows you the table. shows you the compatibility. shows you the report and then it shows you the threats and the options and over here it just shows you basically the profile options and the cycles options we'll go through those momentarily but I prefer to have the simplified version show up each time that I go into the program and this is a good thing for you if you're just beginning in biorhythms and then for the formats if you look at the formats I've changed them from having the day first and then the month to having the month first and then the day and then the year. Uh, the program comes with the day first and so all you got to do is just change the MM and forward slash DD forward slash and then YYYY for the year and you do that in each of these. I have a preference for that. I guess that's the way that we look at things here in the United States so I do that. And then as far as the navigation goes, I keep it at 6 for the start date submenu items and the history submenu items. I leave that at 6 too. And then I want to keep check the start date changes are saved, 
the time interval changes are saved, the duration changes are saved, the zoom changes are saved, the auto nav changes are saved, the document view changes are saved. So I can go backwards and forwards and look and see what I've done during a particular session, especially if I'm looking at a lot of individuals that I've been involved with, say it's a sports team or a business. So it's a good thing to have those checked. And then I, I have a scroll mouse, and so I want to use the scroll wheel. So I have zoom with the control. So that gives me the ability to um, zoom in and zoom out. I can set my zoom by whatever I want. 10% is fine. And if I use shift, then it's 50%. And then the update of the auto nav is one second. That's fine for me. And then the document views, I just leave it at one. I, I like the print collapse rows for table, timeline, threats, and opportunity views. I think that prints out better rather than try to do the two or three dimensional things. And then the graph view thickness line, that's a three. I like that. I don't want it to be too thick when it prints out. And then also the highlight lines in the graph view, I, I think that's a good thing. And include space between series and chart view, that's a good thing too. And you have the option in the premium version to brand your charts when they print out and also have an opportunity for people to click on a URL to go somewhere. So I put in Ralph Saransky, uh, Ultimate Biorhythm Charts, because that's one of the things that I do. And probably what I want to do is, I think I'll get rid of charts and I'll put in secrets. Because that's what I'm sharing with you. The secrets that I've learned after 38 years of research in biorhythms in every area of life. And I'm going to go ahead and use my URL on uh, my website. It's called Ultimate Biorhythm Software Secrets.com. And so when you click on that link, if you're online, it'll take you to that website where I'm going to be sharing a lot of the secrets that you can use to optimi optimize your health, your personal life, your family life, your business life, and as sports gives you the ability, if you can get other people's biorhythms that you're competing against, a huge advantage over there in any competitive event. Plus, if you have the birth dates of people that you know, especially the time they were born, the information that you have when you run it through the biorhythm charts, you can just see a huge amount of things that are going on in their lives and actually coincides and you can use that for good or evil and you have to promise that you're not going to use it for evil because when you know what's going on in people's lives and you actually see that it is happening as far as highs and lows and the physical, the emotional and the intellectual, you don't want to use that to harm people. And so in help tips, I just leave those enabled. I, I like the tutorial. Um, and I also like enable data and content related tips until people actually learn all the different aspects because when you click on a different area in the biorhythm software with enable tutorials it gives you a little heads up on what that part of the program is about so that's good to keep that checked while you're learning how to use the software now in Outlook that's for sending the information to Microsoft Outlook that's more of an advanced feature we're going to bypass on that for the time being. And then here we have astrology, and it gives you the ability to set whether you want the symbolic or you want the graphical. I personally like the symbolic view, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that because I think that it appeals to more people. And then in numerology, it gives you the ability to use master numbers in the calculations. And the master numbers are 11, 22, 33, and 44. That's for people that are more involved in what's going on. And as you remember, when I went to the program, I think it's in the general, yeah, there it is, that I disabled the astrology and the numerology and the celebrity profiles because those are more advanced applications. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And now it takes me to the graph, which I think is incredibly valuable. I'm going to go through and do the graph in a separate tutorial. I just wanted to show the changes that I make in the original custom setup so that when I start the program it has the settings that I'm looking for. So I'm going to end this tutorial and I'm going to come back and tell you about the graph and all the different aspects that you have to do different things with this software.